It's true. It's true. I do have a big question. Uh, and it is inspired by an email we received this week from Alex Cars. Mm. Uh, and he was talking about how crazy wrestling is right now. All these crazy things, Smojos and WWE. And it got me to thinking because they're, they're for a while. Okay, let me relate this to comics. There used to be a list in comics. And list was characters who are dead that always that have to stay dead. Mm-hmm. You don't bring back Aunt May. And you don't bring back Bucky. And there was a third person. I don't remember who it is. What? Gwen Stacy. Gwen Stacy. Yeah, you're right. That was yeah. another one. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think um, you meant Uncle Ben, though, not Aunt May. Colossus one, too. Oh, did I say Aunt May? Yeah. I'm really tired. <laughs> <laughs> I can't keep it straight. You're right. It is It is Uncle Ben. Uncle Ben stays dead. And uh, as of right now, Uncle Ben is the only one who has continued to stay dead because these lists are made to be broken. And then on what book you read. There was, hey, shut up. There was a list of things <laughs> in wrestling that were impossible they were just not going to happen um but they are all happening all over the place now bruno san martino is friends with the wwe again the macho man is in the hall of fame bret hart made up with vince mcmahon and had a wrestlemania match against him it's insane so my big question this week i dropped my spider webbing my big question this week is what's left what is left from that impossible wrestling list that that uh, hasn't happened yet, and what is the next thing that's going to happen? What's the next completely insane, implausible thing that's going to happen? I got this. I got this. got this. The NWA will rise to prominence again. <laughs> oh, sorry. That, wait, wait. Is that, is that, that never going to happen or the thing that's next going to happen? Uh, I was going to say that it will never happen in our lifetimes. Okay. I, I, it's the only thing that has not been properly bought by WWE that is still floundering out there to points. And and I won't uh, question certain people on this panel to to mention about their status right now. <laughs> um, Bobby. Not, no, not Bobby. But um, uh, Bobby's but, NWA heavyweight world champion right now. Yeah, if you didn't know that, and Bobby kicks Bobby kicks his Oshie Kojima's ass. Bobby, Bobby, yeah. tell us about the state and your your run as the NWA world heavyweight champion. Well, um, uh, Dr. Dre still around. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think he misunderstood my answer, but still. Uh, <laughs> Bobby's got attitude. Well, I, I, yes, he does. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm not even touching that Bobby shit. I forgot. I forgot about Bobby. Anyways, uh, Wheels, you're with us. Uh, do you have one? Oh, man. Hot, Wheel, Hot Wheels RWA okay. on the Twitter as he's joining us here on the second half. He's been voted into the house. Haha. <laughs> I am a have this week. What? Previously on the Wrestling Mayhem show, my answer would probably be... Oh, man. This is a tough question. Good job, LB. Thanks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> um, Honestly... AJ Styles going back to TNA. Going that, back? Oh, 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 yes. Yeah, that won't happen. Yeah, yeah, they just exactly. they just announced that he he, he just yep. denied the Hall of Fame, right? Yes. So yeah, I guess that's that's correct. Uh, and I got to say, okay, so we did that interview. We, there's a DVD that released uh, I released with Joe Dabrowski, uh, AJ Styles and Missing Matches, and we have interview with him that I filmed, and he is yeah he does not like TNA. He's very unhappy with TNA. Uh, in general, and and he and has joined the rest of like, us. Like very much, like is like I don't know what their problem was, and and I got the sense that he feels like it was a waste of time. His time there uh, was my consensus from from the interview. Uh, spoilers, uh, please buy please buy it at pittsburghwrestling dot com. Uh, great matches <laughs> in there, uh, but uh, but but no, I, 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 I I'm, I'm kind of with you on that, so. Do you think he'll be in WWE? Do you think maybe he'll be the NXT guy? I could see him going to NXT. 
Yeah. Could you? I could honestly could see him thriving there and then immediately hitting the main roster. I think Joe. I could see some, a- I could see some Adrian Neville, AJ Styles oh. matches that would like kill. Jeez. I, you know, I, I think guys, Joe, guys. If Samoa Joe is going to be the test bed for this. If he can do something amazing, because he's a guy that I didn't think WWE would do something with. Like, he just seemed like not their guy. But then again, we have a, not, a lot of not their guys. Uh, Mike, you had something? Uh, yeah. Um, I, I've said before, I'm still going with my prediction that AJ Styles is going to be in the Rumble. And uh, I talked to my buddy uh, who I was watching Elimination Chamber with this week. And I told him this. He's like, where is the Rumble next year? And uh, guess where it is, guys? Japan. Nope. <laughs> PNA's Backyard, Orlando, Florida. Oh. So uh, if you want to have AJ Styles as a surprise entrant in the Rumble, that is the place to do it. Really? I feel I... like if, if AJ is going to go to the WWE, now's the time to do it. That's true. Because he, he can still go in the ring, but he can barely walk outside of the ring. You know, he's he's coming up on his 40s and, you know, he's pretty beat up. Joe's coming up on his 40s as well. And I feel like he's getting in while the getting's good. Mm-hmm. I, and and we kind of talked about this on the Indie Mayhem show with some other wrestlers, uh, some, some wrestlers that team with AJ Styles, actually. Um, the, I think the big question is, does he need it? Um, will his stuff in New Japan and will the stuff that he's been doing nowadays be enough? Mm-hmm. You know, the, there is a question of, is WWE the be all end all anymore? Um, not not to be like a you know yeah the indies boo WWE thing, but it's a it's a thing wrestlers consider. Some wrestlers consider the fact that hey sometimes I can make more money elsewhere. Right, right, you know? right. And and like you said, if he's re- approaching a point where it's either do or die, maybe he decides you know what I can I don't have to do this. You know, mm-hmm. who was that we talked about? You, you're allowed to name. It was the, I am sorry. It was the young bucks. The it young was... bucks. Were, the young bucks were outspoken of the fact that it's like oh, hey, oh, 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 that's right. Yeah, we work new. Japan I'm like, who did we, we interview that stuff. teamed with him? But <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But no, no, that was no, that was, no, that was discussion, that discussion because that came from the, the that, that came from the Rolling Stones article from a few weeks ago. Uh, right. That we that we talked about it. I think it was like it was like two weeks ago. We 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 talked about that. So uh, at, at length, actually. So it was interesting. I I got an answer to the question. Okay, Bobby. Vince McMahon retiring. Ooh. Well. <laughs> Retiring or Retiring. Stepping, stepping away from it? You don't. You like? Are, so are we in the consensus? We don't think he will act ever actively nope. retire. Nope. Until like he dies. He, I, I think he's, he's. They're gonna have to take him out in a box. Some something something tragic would have to happen for it. To right. Limo explosion. Like yeah. what? Jeez. <laughs> but it would have to be something debilitating or Alzheimer's or or something like that, right? That's I, mean, I don't even idea. think that's going to be <laughs> <laughs> Well, if you look at the last few years of wrestling, actually. Yeah, but but if Vince does get Alzheimer's, they can just tell him he's booking. Hulk Hogan's going to be the main event of the send, send him to TNA and make him think like he's doing work. But, you know, have Seth and Triple H really run things. Well, there you go. That's, I guess that's true, too. Um, all right, who, who hasn't gone here? Is that I got right? one. Okay, what do you got? Uh, and it was something that was uh, teased uh, last night on the WWE Network. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's Steve Austin wrestling again. Mm-hmm. Um, it's not something yeah. I... It's not necessarily something I want to see because I think there is an appeal to somebody who is retired staying retired. Um, however... But you're also not of the era, era of the fan of, of a so No, I, 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 I can understand how big it would be. Uh, and I can understand that that would draw a huge and and if their te- if, if if it was in very int- if it was an intentional thing that they did heavily teasing that there could be a Steve Austin Brock Lesnar match, then you know that's money that is absolute money mm-hmm. on the table. But I I there is a side of me that hopes he just stays retired because there's is a really nice aspect of that just a guy knowing when he's done and and maybe profiting off of it after he's done but just knowing when he's done i'm i'm not saying i would be against it happening i'm just saying i i i like the idea of him staying retired Mm -hmm. but the the thing about austin though is he never had a retirement match yeah like an official one and the The last yeah the the closest thing was the Oh, I'm sorry. Go, go. No, I was just saying the closest thing was the Rock match at WrestleMania 19. 